Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part six of my WordPress newspaper theme tutorial in which we will take this plain Jane HTML slash CSS site that you have here that we made earlier and turn it into a WordPress theme like you see here on the screen. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like currently. Ah, it's terrible. But in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and fix the sidebar and start styling this guy up. The important thing to understand here, this is in index.php. Right here, we're defining the sidebar we want to use, and we are calling it first. So why that is important is whenever we open up to start creating our customized sidebar, we need to change the name of it. It cannot be called sidebar.php. We are going to instead save it as sidebar-first, just like we labeled in the index.php file. So now let's start going in here and messing this guy up. First, we're gonna come into this div area. I'm gonna call this first sidebar. That's all we need to do there. What this is gonna do up here, this line of code we have here on the screen is it's gonna allow you to throw widgets in there and edit the sidebar with your theme. So we're actually gonna leave this exactly the same as it shows right here. We don't need a search form and actually we don't need anything else that's on this screen. So we're gonna come the whole way down here to the div and delete it all. That's what I mean by creating these guys from scratch and what we're gonna do start making an additional divs so we're gonna create a div and let me open up the actual thing so this is what we're creating over here on the right side of the screen if you can't see it you can watch this in full screen and in HD because it's an HD video so sidebar widgets okay so I'm gonna create a div called sidebar widgets obviously and then I'm gonna create another div class is equal to sidebar title. And for now, I'm actually gonna leave this empty. I'm gonna actually let it sit there, but there's not gonna be anything inside of it. Might come in there and delete that all together, but sometimes I leave things in there just because I think I might use them in the future. And as I mentioned previously, I am going to turn this guy into a plugin, or in fact, I already did create it or create it as a widget, and I'm gonna get into that later on. So I'm just, like I did before, I'm just gonna link out to the location for my RSS feed, and how you do that is with blog info, and then you type in RSS2 underscore URL, and then that is automatically gonna pull in the URL for your RSS feed. And then I have to link out to the image, it's equal to PHP, and I have to go blog info template directory, which is just my theme directory. And whenever I type that in there, it's gonna output the URL for my theme directory onto the screen, close PHP. Then I can go images, rss.logo, and it's gonna grab that logo from inside of there. And I'm gonna tell it I want a height of 50 pixels and a width equal to 50 pixels. And then I'm gonna close that off, put that A tag inside of there. And then just like I did previously, I'm gonna make four copies of this. So let's just put that there. And I'm gonna link out to my Twitter address. And this is these are gonna be the defaults, except I'm not gonna to have to call PHP for that. Let me go HTTP, www.twitter.com, new think tank. So that'll just be the default. And then pretty much everything else is gonna be the same here, except this is gonna be turned into Twitter logo. And then this is gonna to have to be a ping file. So let me correct that right now. Probably thinking what is file type logo. And everything else there is gonna be exactly the same. And I can copy that, paste that in there. Save myself some time. And then I'm gonna to link to Facebook. And then that can stay the same. Change this from Twitter to Facebook. That could be the same, even though I never use it. LinkedIn, in, LinkedIn. Okay, so that's gonna bring in all that information for the social networks. Then I'm gonna give myself some room so we can look at everything else here on the screen a little bit better. I have to close off that paragraph tag that we created that surrounds that. And then I'm gonna create another div. Class type is equal to sidebar title. And I'm also going to leave that there just as a placeholder. Create another paragraph. Class is equal to sidebar excerpt. And then inside of this, like I did previously, I'm gonna have it generate all my pages dynamically for me by calling WP list pages depth. I'm not gonna show the children, so depth is gonna be equal to one. And title underscore li is equal to, and then I'm gonna surround or define what I want to surround the title that pops up there. See, pages pops up there, so we want to tell it exactly what to do with this. So I'm gonna say div class, I'll give it sidebar title. Then I'm gonna put it inside of an H4 tag, and I'm gonna say pages, H4, and then close the div. 
and then you close off that function, and you close off the PHP, and then you close off the paragraph tag. And that little bit of code right there is going to generate all of my pages on there. And then I'm going to go div class is equal to sidebar title. And this time, once again, I'm just going to leave that empty for now. And then close that div. And let's say you wanted to put like an advertisement inside of here. P class is equal to sidebar excerpt. Don't forget the quotes. And then let's image source. And this again is just going to be placeholder. PHP log info call the template directory, my theme directory. All it's gonna do is put the URL for that there. Then I'm gonna say images, add, sample. And that's what my logo thing is over there on the right side of the screen. And I give it alt, advertising, give it a title equal to advertising, width equal to 250 pixels, which is kind of standard, height, is equal to 250 pixels. And then close that off, and then close off the paragraph tag for sidebar excerpt. And then just like I did before, I'm gonna print out my categories, side, bar, and this time I'm gonna leave an actual title inside of there. I'm gonna call it categories. And I could have done the same thing as I did here for pages, but I decided to do it this way. Just to show you a couple different ways, and I know I'm repeating a little bit from last time, but that's really the only way you're gonna learn. Sidebar excerpt, and then call PHP to execute or to show those categories on the screen. So you do that with WP list categories. And then I'm gonna say I don't want children categories to show up, just like I did before, with depth. And then because I already have a title here, li is equal to, and I'm just gonna close that off and put nothing inside of it. And then I'm gonna close off PHP and the paragraph tag. And I'm gonna close off the div for sidebar widgets. And then way up here, you saw this if statement up here. Well, I gotta close that off as well. I'm gonna get rid of this white space. There's no reason to have it there if you don't need it. And right after this div, I'm gonna go PHP and div, and leave that div in there. And there you go with your sidebar, of course. First sidebar, not fist sidebar. And if you file save that, nothing really is gonna change dramatically over here. There you go, had a couple things kind of change. But whenever we get into styling now, things are gonna change dramatically. So this is the blank theme style, and to show you how important this is, I'm just gonna select it all and delete it. There, it's all gone. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the styling that we created, select all, copy, whenever we created this straight CSS HTML guy right here, and inside of style.css, I'm gonna paste that in, what we created already, delete this, file save it, and then things are gonna start changing a little bit more dramatically. And there you go, now stuff's starting to actually line up on the screen, it's starting to look kinda nice, but it's still kinda messed up. So we have to come into this styling and make some changes. It's actually not gonna be that many different changes. One of the first things here, as you can see, random site is a link, and I'm not referring to it as a link, right here with blog title. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna change this to A. So now it is going to start styling that link, and then I'm gonna have to go text, decoration, none. What this does is it gets rid of the underline that's put on all links, so file save that, reload it, and there you can see, it's starting to look a little bit nice, but it's off center. I can fix that quite easily though. Just have to come in here on the top where it says negative 15, I'm gonna get rid of that all together, file save it, reload it, and there it is, now it's in the right place. On top of that, I wanna make a couple other additional changes with this guy so that I can change its look whenever someone hovers over it. Well, how you do that, let's scroll up here, is after the A tag, I'm gonna type in hover. It's basic CSS styling here. Now, whenever a mouse hovers over top of it, we're gonna do a couple of different things. We're gonna change the color of it. So say E6E8FA. And also, we're gonna put a text shadow on it. And that just puts a little thing in the background, make it look kinda of neat. Two pixels, two pixels, and then four pixel blur. I'll save it, reload it, and if you put your mouse over top of it, you can see that it's changing colors and it's changing a little shadow in the background, so that's kind of neat. Then for blog slogan, I'm gonna play around with this guy a little bit also. I'm gonna have it go 50 from the top, just so I, I like it looking that way. And then I decided I wanted this font to be bold and 15 pixels instead of 20. Line height, change that. And I decided I want to get rid of the serif all together here, so I'm gonna type in Arial Sans Serif. I'll say it, reload it, and I personally think that looks a little bit nicer. Then we're gonna have to do some additional stylings with the sidebar, because the sidebar is now inside of an H4 tag, and that's all I need to change there. Then I need to make a couple other additional things here, because I have something called sidebar excerpt, sidebar excerpt, 
I want to target li, ul, li, a. Make a couple additional changes here. Bing, list, style, type. And I'm going to put none. That's going to get rid of the bullets. And text, decoration, none. That's going to get rid of underlines for the links. Whenever we have these pages get automatically generated by WordPress, they are put inside of a div called page nav. So I'm also going to do the same thing for page nav. Let's get rid of all these things. So it's going to get rid of all those problems as well. And then also going to target page nav. Remember, it's a directory that goes around any time you create a page or you have WordPress automatically generate all of your pages in a list. I'm also going to target page nav ul li a. Text decoration is still going to be none. I'm not going to need list style type. Get rid of that. But I want to change the font to a bold. 14 pixels, 17 pixels, Helvetica, sans, serif. And I'm going to automatically make all of the text uppercase. You do that with text transform, uppercase. And then I'm going to change the color of the text. Don't get scared, 666. That's just a gray. And then the first sidebar, I don't have the unordered list part in here. I'm just going to target list items in this situation and margin left. I'm going to set this to zero pixels. And then I have to change text decoration, which again is underlined to none. Let's save that. See how it's shaping up here. It's starting to come together a little bit nicer. You can see that all that information is shooting up there on the screen. And if I go into my WP Contents folder and inside of Themes, News Themes, and Images and copy all these guys, which I had from before, and jump into Images and paste in all of those different images inside of there, and then reload this. Now you're starting to see a pretty dramatic change with this. Then I'm going to copy this guy, and we're going to come in here and specifically start targeting the links that follow the list items. And I'm just going to grab this font, paste it inside of there. Text decoration, also want to get rid of that on all the links. Text transform, also get that. And then color, make sure we get that to be gray. And then I need to target sidebar excerpt, because again, that's something that has changed. So we'll go in here, text decoration, none. Page nav, sidebar, title, H4. If they're going to be using that H4 tag, I want to be prepared for it. So I'll fix that as well. Also want to do some styling changes in the category section. So target sidebar, excerpt, it's called categories. And then I want to target the list items, make sure I get rid of all the dots and everything there. And I want to target, come in here and reload this, see how it's shaping up. And you're not going to notice much difference here. What I'm working on is the right side, not this part. That's going to be in the next part of the tutorial. So this is where you're seeing changes at, as well as changes in the bottom of the screen. I'm basically just correcting all the different parts of the sidebar right now. You will, li tags. I think I saved the font. Yes, I did. So that's good. And then if I want to put a border on the bottom, a little dash border, which looked nice before, just come in here and do that. Dashed. It's going to be DC, DC, DC. It's like a grayish thing. And then padding. Put a little bit of padding between these guys so it looks nice, as well as padding on the top of the same amount. Margin left. Because these are list items, they're going to be indented, so I want to get rid of that. Just did text decoration, and I got rid of that as well. The footer here can stay exactly the same way that it has been, except I decided to increase the size on the footer to 320 pixels. That's going to be the width of these three boxes you see here on the screen. And this guy here isn't even going to exist anymore. I'm going to put some space in here, and I'm going to create the last part. So footer, content. Page nav, what am I going after here? I'm going after the div that is surrounding the automatic list of the pages. This guy down here where it's listing all the pages that I have. That's what I'm shooting for. And going after the A tag or the links, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to color that in there with white. And I can copy this. And then I want to target sidebar title, target the H4 tags, make them white as well. I want to target any list items inside of here, which is basically going to be anything that comes after the title. It's inside of the div called footer content. And I want to set the font to the same as above. List item, I want to get rid of those bullets. So I'm going to say none, margin, left. Why am I making this negative? Because it's a list item, I want to move it over to the left. And I'm going to make it white. That's the text, by the way, that I'm making white. And then footer content, li, a. Basically going to do the same exact thing with this text. Decoration is going to be set to none. Text transform is going to be set to uppercase so that all the letters are forced to be uppercase, which is just a styling choice I chose. Definitely not something that's needed, but it looks nice. And then 
footer. In this situation, I'm going to go after title and target H4 tags. And I'm just going to copy this whole entire thing, paste that in there. It's going to be exactly the same, except this isn't going to be negative 30. It's going to be negative 40. So that is a vast majority of the style sheets. And that is the sidebar totally done. And now you can see everything's starting to look. Sidebar is all real nice looking down there. And the sidebar, or I mean the footer looks nice down here. And the sidebar looks nice and this looks nice. So in the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to finish styling all of this mess inside of here. So it looks nice as well as styling the menu. If any questions or comments below, otherwise, till next time.